the legendary, close to mythical Trappist, acclaimed by many and desired by the masses. And this is the beer you've all been waiting for. From the St Sixtus Abbey of West Vletteren, we have got a bottle of the West Vletteren 12 coming in at a whopping 10 to 10.2% 10 ABV. Now I say that with a slight chuckle, is this is what this beer ranges from, believe it or not. It actually ranges between 10 and 10.2% 10 ABV. Um, they don't make a lot of this, it's quite hard to get a hold of, um, and according to some, this is the best beer in the world, and this hype actually started in 2005, when it was a, a, a website called Rate Beer, that basically awarded this as the first, the first title of best beer in the world. And it's gone from there, gone on from there. You know, this has now become a mythical beer. The Westy 12, some people call it. You know, um, it's a it's a quadruple. Um, they do not brew a lot of it. It is very hard to get hold of. Um, I managed to pick this bottle up for 10 euros, at Belgium in a box. Um, in England, in the UK, you can pay about 22 to 25 quid a bottle for this. So it's not a cheap beer, um, and a lot of it is to do with, with the hype. Um, to get this actual beer from the from the brewery itself, yes, you can go and you can go and pick it up, but you have to order it, and then they will give you a specific date to when you can turn up at the brewery at the Abbey to pick your crate up. You can only buy it by the crate, and yeah, so it's not accessible for a lot of people. Um, hence why well, they have to buy it through a shop, a website or something like that and pay a little bit over the odds for it. But here we go, let's crack this open. Let's see, you know, if this is really, you know, as good as what people will say it is. Um, I'm going to be a bit careful because I want to keep this bottle, believe it or not. There we go. I want to display it in the pub shed with the rest of the, the West Vletter and... There we go, the West Vlettering glass. Go. This is bottle conditioned. As first impressions, it's a real dark brown. There is a hint of readiness that I can see at the bottom there. It's got a, a half a finger white head on it. Let's get the aromas. You get these sort of dark fruits, raisins, caramel. I'm getting hints of tobacco. And that's probably because I used to smoke a lot of fine cigars. Yeah, I'm just, I'm definitely getting like hints of a, like a, uh, a Monte Cristo or a Cohiba, <laughs> definitely. Very, very complex smelling beer, really is. I'm actually even getting a hint of like the fresh of, of like, like the smell of fresh leather. Quite 
tart on the nose. There's a little bit of a tingle from the, the old Belgium yeast there. Smell it. You're just picking up so many different oak barrels is coming out as well. And it's probably the oak barrels that is, is sort of giving that sort of like that tobacco type aroma. Figs, caramel, burnt sugar, bready. There's a little hint of cinnamon there. You know, every time I put it to my nose, it's now my nose is tuned into the smell. I'm smelling more and more different things in this beer. It really, really, really smells lovely. No. I think West Fletteran should do air fresheners for cars because this would be a fantastic air freshener. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Well, first sip, I get instant bitterness, and then it turns into a lovely sweetness. I get a lovely warming sensation as it goes down, and the flavours are all a bit muddled up. <laughs> so it's going to take a few sips to iron out this, the, the different flavours in this beer. Um, this is definitely a sipping beer. This is a beer to sort of mull away your life, um, reflect on things. Um, yeah, it's first impressions. Yeah. I'm now getting, it feels like velvet in the mouth. You're getting the roasted malts, the caramel, the fruits, the dried fruits, nuts, it's slightly chocolatey, there's a hint of licorice there. With figs, it's real dates. Um, so complex this taste it's got a lot going on this beer it just dances across your tongue though it's the way it goes across your tongue it's like how a Siamese cat you know, when they do that strut, that walk, you know. It, this knows it's a good beer. And on the mouth feel, you know, it's telling you I'm the best beer in the world. You know, it's, yeah, it actually is, feels like the beer is talking to you. find a fault with this beer. It is. I just wish I had a great pile of nice cheese here now to enjoy with it because to have this beer and, a, and some cubed up cheese is, would be absolutely fantastic. Creamy, velvety, silky smooth. Oh, it just it it brings you pleasure. Every sip is just you know pleasurable. It's you know like people get 
pleasure out of eating chocolate. Many years ago I used to get pleasure out of smoking a fine cigar. This beer has the same appeal. This is not just a beer that is, you know, oh that's a beer, I'll drink it. Every sip just, it, it brings a smile to your face and it brings a pleasure. It, your whole body feels like really nice. It's a, it's a nice place to be. It's, it's yeah, it, you've got to experience this beer. It's not about drinking the beer, it's the experience of drinking this beer. And the experience is, whoa, oh, it's on another level. It's best served around 12 degrees, which is what I'm, I'm serving it at now. And... You know, just picking out. I could, I could list loads and loads of different things that this I'm picking out in the taste of this. It's just unbelievable. It's like every sip I'm discovering a new sort of taste. It's, it's really nice at the back end as well. Now, like now. It really, it's got a really long, complex aftertaste to this beer. Um, it's a taste experience. There's, there's no other way to describe this beer. Unfortunately, it is, it is an experience. It's a taste experience. It's something which I haven't experienced before. You know, we've drunk some good beers on this channel, and this, in my opinion, is by far the best beer. It's just, you know, I agree with those that think this is the best beer in the world, but I do want to put this up against side by side against a, a Trappist Rochford 10. You know, I'm saying this is the best beer I've had on this channel. But I haven't got Rochefort 10 sitting here to compare this with or to compare against each other. So there is going to be another video coming up where we're going to put the two against themselves, against each other. Because some people think the Rochefort 10 is the best in the world. Some people think this. Me tasting this now, I think it's the best beer I've ever had. But I haven't got a Rochefort 10 here to compare it with. And I might change when I put the two side by side. It's, but it's just a fantastic beer. It's so good this beer is when I'm next in Bruges if I see this on the menu of a, of a bar that I'm in I will be ordering it. This will be my sort of last beer of the night um, and I don't care if it costs me 15 euros to have a glass of this you know my opinion is you're on holiday and you should treat yourself when you're on holiday and this will be the next time I'm in Bruges this will be if I got it in the bar this will be my last beer of the night to sit there and sip and savour the moment and yeah absolutely fantastic you know look at the look, glides on that glass it's yeah I don't know what more I can say about this beer to be honest other than you have to treat yourself to a bottle of this 
this is a beer you have well a beer to try before you die if there's any if there's any beer in the world to try before you die it's a bottle of this just just treat yourself you know even if you put it like you know put it on your Christmas list your birthday list you know when you know people always say like you know oh, I don't know what to get you for your birthday you know, uh, just say to them I have a bottle of this get me a bottle of this you know um, if you really 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 want to get me something special that I'm gonna really really like and really really enjoy here it is because seriously it's it's blown my brains it's that good look get hold of a bottle seriously get hold of a bottle of this try it see what you think leave a comment below Give us a thumbs up if you like the review. Um, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review. And uh, there's some links and that below in the description for a lot of the glasses that I use because people are interested in where do I get my craft beer glasses from and that sort of thing. But if you click on the links, it'll take you straight there's to the Spiegel Hour and Restall and things like that. And I'd like to say thank you to all the subscribers um, because you make this channel. And keep commenting because I always will reply to you all. And uh, before I say my ending, after my little ending, I've got a little surprise for you. So, uh, yeah, I've just trained my cat to be a bit of a YouTuber. So, uh, after me saying, don't switch off, carry on because it's a little. Um, important message <laughs> that's going to be said so beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question just keep watching for a couple of minutes thank you for watching good night <coughs> TT says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly <laughs>